हेलो नेटवर्किंग वेलकम टू द चैनल गॉड ऑफ नेटवर्किंग टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर ओएसपीएफ व्हिच इज अ लेयर थ्री प्रोटोकॉल इन सोनिक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द वीडियो आई हैड रिमूव्ड ऑल द डिफॉल्ट आईपी एड्रेसेस फ्रॉम दिस पोर्ट्स एज वी नो इन सोनिक ऑल द पोर्ट्स आर इन लेयर थ्री एंड डिफॉल्ट आईपी एड्रेसेस हैव बीन असाइंड सो first of all i will configure router r1 now first of all i will show you the status of ip interfaces by using command show ip interfaces as we can see here in the table the ip addresses of ethernet 0 and 4 are same that we want to use in our topology the main interesting thing about sonic regarding layer 3 protocols is that the architecture of sonic is designed in such a way that frr is integrated in sonic for all l3 protocols we have to use frr commands first we have to go into bgp container and then start a daemon process running in background now i will go into bgp container by using command docker exec it bgp bash cd slash user slash frr as we can see here there are lot of layer 3 daemons like pigrp ofpf rip errp bfd isis static so since in our topology we are using ospf so i will start a ospf process in the back by using command spf as we can see here the spf process has been started in the background before starting of the video since this is a redundant work to save time i had started all the spf process on router 2 router 3 and router 4 now i will show you the other routers router 3 router 2 as we can see here the spf process has already already been started the same steps are repeated for r3 and r4 now again i will go into the r1 now i will exit out now I will go into Vitaish, Vy, Vty, Sh. Now in configuration mode, using command router, OSPF. Now I will advertise these networks by using command network. Now let me check the. As we can see here, the networks. 10.0 and 11.0 are directly connected with R1. Now I will advertise these networks. Network 192.168.10.0/24. Area 0. 10 and 11. Now I will exit. Huh. To save commands. in sonic for frr the command is right now as we can see here these configurations are saved in the directory slash etc slash frr where is a file which is known as configuration file ospf.conf file all the configurations have been saved in this file ospfd.conf now i will repeat the same steps on r2 r3 and r4 now i will go into r2 vitaish configure router here network 192.168. dot let me check the network with r2 10.0 10 and 12 are directly connected Is zero and and twelve. Right. 
now I will go into R3 dash configure router OSPF network 192.168. Dot. Let me check the networks with R3 11 and 13. 11.0 slash 24 area 0 11 and 13 are directly connected exit now i will go into r4 here is r4 out of spf network 92.168 let me check the networks with R4, 13 and 12 are directly connected. Thirteen and twelve are directly connected. Exit, exit, exit. Since all the configurations have been saved in all router in file ospfd.config, now I will go into R1. Here I will show you the status of OSPF by using command show IP OSPF. As we can see here, OSPF process is running. Now, here is a router ID. Now, I will show you the neighbors show IP OSPF neighbor. These are the neighbors of R1. This is their neighbor ID and this is their address. Now let me generate a ping request from R1 to R4 to check whether OSPF is running successfully or not. Let me generate a ping request from R1 on interface 192.168.12.2. Ping 192.168.12.2. Oh, as we can see here, the TTL is decremented by one. What does it mean? It means that router one is receiving packets from R4 in which only one router is there. Due to only one router, which is acting as a hope, the TTL is decremented by one. Now, let me generate a ping request from R3 to R2 by using command from R3 to R2. Here R3 ping R3 to R2 on interface 10.2192.168.10.2. Here we can see. OSPF is successfully implemented in our topology. So, thank you guys for watching my video. If you want more videos like this, kindly subscribe my channel.